Here is the dream team, my sales dream team. Dwight and I used to go on sales calls all the time. In fact, I have a picture to remember that time. Oh, young Jim, there's just so much I need to warn you about. What does Jim bring to a sales call? Nothing. What do I bring? A fierce competitive attitude, plus an extra jacket and roadside flares and business cards and condensed milk. It's just like the old days. Yeah, you drive me there, I dominate, you drive me back. Yep, just like the old days. Go, let's do Come it. Come on! Seriously, you're gonna sit in the back? Uh, yeah, that's the safest part of a car. In the event of a crash, driver always protects his side first. Do you think Andy's out to get me? I think that depends on what you mean by get you, and yes. You, sir. No, thank you. I never let anyone walk behind me. Seven out of ten attacks are from the rear. Okay, well, that still leaves a 30% chance that I'll attack you from the front. Uh, yeah, but it'll be easier to stop. I can always block the blow, or I can counter it, but... That's disgusting. Wrong. It's smart. Washes the plaque and detritus from my teeth and flushes it into my small intestine, which can handle it. You the guys from Dunder Mifflin? Mr. Krambus. How you doing? I'm Jim Halpert. Nice to meet you. Dwight Schrute. Let's do this in my office, eh? Sure. Hey. Horse fire handkerchief. Handkerchief. We can offer our biggest discounts on 30% recycled and ultra premium laser. Okay. Okay. Can I use your phone? Yeah, sure. Go ahead. Let me talk to you about a few of the other things we can offer. Namely, we know the tax season's coming up, so by April 1st, we can have you fully stocked. One. With discount prices on ink cartridges. Three. And also, any forms that you're gonna need. Seven. You can custom make them. Well, I appreciate what you guys are saying, but it uh, makes more fiscal sense to go with one of the big guys. Sure. That's true. We can't compete with their prices, but let me ask you something. How important to you is customer service? Very. Please keep holding. Your call is very important to us. Mm. It's one of the big guys. Been on hold this whole time. And this is Dunder Mifflin. Dunder Mifflin Customer Service, this is Kelly. Hey, Kelly, it's Jim. Oh my god, Jim, how are you? I wanted to tell you. Here's my card. It's got my cell number, my pager number, my home number, and my other pager number. I never take vacations, I never get sick, and I don't celebrate any major holidays. <laughs> All right, I get it. We got a deal. <clears throat> All right. I like Karen. She's pretty, and appears intelligent. I like pretty women who have the appearance of intelligence. My girlfriend is also beautiful and smart. She could be a model or a college professor, which is intimidating to a lot of guys. We should go on a double date. <laughs> no, thank you. A lot going on, guys. What's happening? Binghamton branch closed last night. All the clients are up for grabs. That was a fine branch. Things are really bad under Robert California, I guess. It's like a festival of poo. Hey, 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 come on, language. Yeah, we're not interested in your sour grapes, okay? Jim, tell him where he can stick his grapes. In the fridge. No, Jim, the butt, in his butt. Sorry, man, I can't focus on zingers. There's too many potential clients. You two better watch yourselves. Yeah, the Syracuse branch can't be happy you're taking New York clients. <laughs> But closing the Binghamton branch never occurred to me before today. Or, I guess last night. Who the hell are Jim Halpert and Dwight Schrute? Jim, Dwight, what are your last names? And you are? Harry Janerone, Thunder Mifflin, Syracuse. What the hell's all this? Uh, Cherry's Jubilee over homemade gelato. You live well down here in PA. I want to talk to you guys right now. Oh, and Lloyd Gross, too. Which one's that guy? The salesmen have a commission cap, but we figured out a way around it. Lloyd Gross is a fictional salesman we invented to, how do I put this, steal from the company, embezzle, to commit fraud. Okay, it sounds sketchy, but it helps us get more money. Yes. Pam made a drawing of Lloyd. He is a blend of all the salesmen. That's Lloyd. Me? Yeah, you. <laughs> Where do you get off crossing state lines? Now, we're actually closer to Binghamton than you are, Kimasabi. I like to think Lloyd Gross is a no-nonsense guy who doesn't back down from anybody. They're New York, 
we're in New York. State line is the dividing line. That's the way it's always been. There's actually not a rule that says that. It's true. It's true. There's no rule. You can check the employee handbook. Oh, can I check the employee handbook, Lloyd? Well, does it say anything about me choking a man with my bare hands? No. Stay out of my state. It's in your best interest to stay out of my state. I've seen guys like you. Big guys who like to push the little guys around. Lloyd Gross eats bullies like you for breakfast. Just stay out of New York, Lloyd! Hey, text from the old wife. I'm gonna take that. Shaping a company is, in a sense, similar to training a geisha. You have to mold not merely the physical form, but also the character. The two must harmonize. Are they still there? They want a decision who gets the big client. <laughs> well, they can wait. I'll still be talking about geishas long past their bedtime. I'm gonna get some air. You know, it would be really dastardly if we snuck out of here and got to the client first. He's running! Damn it! Does this thing have turbo? Nitrous? Hit the Nas. Nas? You mean like in Fast and Furious? Yeah. Oh yeah, I definitely have Nas. Hit the Nas. Are you sure? Yes. Brace yourself. Three, we got two, go. one. Here we go! The seismic failsafe. We'll be stuck between floors for hours. Oh. What's going on? Mr. Well, Ramish, Harry Janarone, Dunder Mifflin, Syracuse. I was oh, here first. Oh, oh, Sorry oh, about oh, this. Okay. I already okay. made an appointment here. Okay. I've already picked a new paper supplier. Wait, it's not DM Utica, is it? No, no, it, it's not Dunder Mifflin at all, actually. It's Big Red Paper Company. Big Red Paper Company? Mm-hmm. Didn't work out for any of us, so. We're still on the same team. Let me get these. No. Let him get his own. He's got Syracuse money. You know, your partner's got a lot of attitude. But I like that. How long have you guys been dating? Jim couldn't land me in a thousand years. But you're saying there's a chance. <laughs> Shut up. Stone & Son Suit Warehouse recently lost their paper provider. They're a family-owned business. <laughs> Jim and I used to clean up at those. We'd go in pretending to be family. We did it at a family-owned law firm at a family-owned construction company, and a family-owned motorcycle store. Jim and Dwight Schrupert. I was the dynamic, likable winner that was doted upon by mom. I hope you've been paying your wig storage bills, Jimbo, because it's time for another episode of Handsome and Stinky Paper Brothers for Hire. Sorry, Stinky, can't do it. Too busy. Oh, God, this again? You're stinky. Okay, there's no possible way I can get there, so just ask Phyllis. She can be your older sister. Phyllis, my sister, more like my dead great-great-grandmother who died of stupidity. I have ears, Dwight. Oh, do you really have ears, Phyllis? Like all human beings. See what you leave me with here, Jim? Hey, I'm in Philadelphia right now. How is that my problem? Get in your car and drive down here. You can make it in 30 minutes if you drive 240 miles per hour. Huh, how long would it take me if I drove 300 miles an hour? Hmm, that's a good question. 300 times. 180, um, that comes to 25 minutes. Yes, oh well, thank you, Jim. Yes, I am better than you. Thanks for acknowledging that. Okay, bye-bye, love you. Hey, guys. Clark, hey. Hey, look who's back, Dwight Jr. Hey, so how was it? I mean, the sex with Jan. A gentleman doesn't discuss such matters, especially when the feelings of a lady are involved. Women reached their sexual peak at whatever age Jan was last week. There he is! <laughs> we are all so proud of you for the small part that you played in landing the white pages. Prouder of me, but... If you really want to show appreciation, just give me half the commission. Gosh, you know, I wish I could, but, uh... No. Hey, listen, remember how everyone used to call you Dwight Jr. and how much you loved that? <laughs> I loved it. How would you like to pretend to be my son in order to land a sale? If it'll lead to me being a salesman, I'll pretend to be your friend. 
it looks like we have a deal. Son. Father and son sales team meeting with a father and son suit store. <laughs> you know, you're right. We hadn't even thought of that, had we, boy? No, we sure hadn't, Pop. <laughs> you're a hunter, I see. Spend your early mornings out in the blinds like Clarky and me, huh? He calls me Clarky because he's my dad. Guilty. <laughs> you don't meet many hunters these days. My dad is the best hunter there is. I mean, he, he's, he's like a serial killer of animals. One time he snuck up behind a sleeping deer and just sawed its head right off. It was sick. <laughs> All of your concerns will be answered when you see the brochure that Clark's getting out of my car. He's a good boy, does whatever I say. <sighs> I can't relate to that, my son hates my guts. Oh, here you go, Pop. <laughs> I know it was just a couple minutes, but God, I missed you. What took you so long? Were you loitering out there like a hooligan smoking a doobie? Ha-ha! <laughs> All right, that's enough, because I, I could say some things about him, too. Yeah, like what? Like the time that, that you got drunk and and then killed those kids on their way to prom. That never happened. He's always been a liar, ever since he was a little kid and he got caught saving treats from the kitty litter box. Really shameful. So we can offer you matte or glossy printing. Glistening uh, in a, in a brown a morsels tumbling from every pouch in his trousers. There's obviously a volume Here discount. Here he is, my son. <laughs> Cat turd collector written all over him. Their fathers. Us old timers need to stick together. And how better than by signing a contract? I'd love to. Sam Jr. here, he runs a business now. Okay, Bob. Wait, so you're the boss? That's right. Hi, I'm Clark. Hey. Let's talk. I mean, look, you and I both know that in paper or fashion, styles change. Check out my dad's suit. You are looking at pure acrylic. That's why his face always breaks out. Does that suit come with a fire extinguisher? <laughs> <laughs> you know what, Dad? Maybe you should buy me a suit. Mm. I mean, I'm gonna need one, right, if I'm ever gonna get a real job and move my lazy ass out of your GD house? He's got you there. Do it! Well, you opened the door. And you closed it. The boys are back in town. High fives. <laughs> hey, so... All that really specific cat turd business, that was about you, right? You got me. <laughs> I used to collect them. Why? Each one is very different, like a snowflake. <laughs>